हरे कृष्णा to put yourself together means to learn to become more focused more purposeful and more coherent in what we want to do in our lives now how do we do that we need to we hold on to many things in our life which are uh, which are not really very important for us we have many desires that have come upon that have come from outside and that we have made our own without due deliberation we have many emotions that just pop up within us and we accept them as our own and many times such desires such emotions they divert us from our important purpose so we need to put aside the things that pull us apart so for example if you are driving if you want to go in one direction now when we come to a intersection where there are many different roads now maybe along all those roads there might be something nice and new to explore but we have to put aside those things because that's not where we want to go right now maybe later if it's required but right now we move forward straight so for us we need to turn away from the many things that turn us away from what is important for us so the bhagavad gita explains that our mind and senses are impressed with hundreds and millions of desires and they pull us in various directions and the 15.7 in the bhagavad gita it is said mana shashthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati that being pulled by our mind and senses we just struggle and suffer not being able to do anything productive so if we are living a distracted dissipated existence that is primarily because we are being pulled apart by our mind and senses by the desires that are impressed within the mind and senses so what do we do we need to put aside them that means we understand that i am not my mind i am not my senses i am consciousness i am the conscious observer the same words in the bhagavad gita states that we are spiritual beings part of the supreme spiritual being mama evam sho jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana so when you understand that we are parts of krishna meant to serve krishna then what happens we learn to put aside the promptings of the mind and senses understanding that they are peripheral to us and as we put them aside we can put ourselves together more and more so that means we can uh, bring those parts of us which are in harmony with our overall purpose uh, to bear on what we want to do and those parts are in disharmony we put them aside so just like if say light is dissipated in 100 directions uh, we can't see much but if that light is focused in one direction then we can see clearly and that can illumine our path so our consciousness is like that light either it can be dissipated over 100 things or it can be focused on one thing so when we to put ourselves together we put our consciousness on those things that are important for us and by this as we keep doing one thing after another after another we start getting some success we get start getting a sense of confidence and then we'll become more and more put together till will become focused and amazingly productive constructive and productive because we ultimately can be best put together when we are put together with krishna with the whole whose parts we are and whose service we can do in a mood of contribution in this world so by putting ourselves by putting aside the things that pull us apart we can put ourselves together and bring out our best thank you re krishna